A man in Nanaimo is preparing to watch his dream sail off into the sunset after deciding that the pirate's life just isn't for him. Terry Renner built a pirate ship from scratch. He had no blueprints, no plans, just his imagination and his trusty table saw. But Renner says building the ship was more about the journey than the destination, and that is why it's time for this captain to chart a new course. As A News reporter Eric Thompson shows us, if you have enough coins in your treasure chest, this pirate ship could be yours. It's one of a kind, you know. It's like for the guy who has everything, he hasn't got one of these. But soon he might, for the right price. This ship is up for sale. Terry Renner built it in the backyard of his Nanaimo home just to see if he could. What got me going on that, uh, uh, besides the tall ship festivals in uh, Port Bernie, is I read an article in some magazine about the Haitians. Driftwood comes up on the beach there, and they use hand saws and claw hammers, and they build their fishing boats up to 30 feet long with driftwood. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, God, if the Haitians can do it, why can't we? It's an amazing feat, you know, to, to have built this from absolutely nothing. Uh, no blueprint, no plans, no anything. And then to put this together uh, and have it come to fruition the way it has, it's a, an amazing accomplishment for anybody. Terry began the project not with his hands but with his mind, researching maritime history and sourcing out recycled wood from up and down Vancouver Island. I spent about six months, nine months just going over my head making sketches so I could see if it would even work. I honestly didn't think it would come to this point. It's been several years in the making and the ship has been a labor of love but Terry says it's time to let it go. There are a few finishing touches needed and he's hoping someone else will pick up where he left off. The asking price, $10,000, but the money is less important than the buyer. Terry doesn't want his ship ending up in the hands of scallywags. Terry wants to make sure that it goes to somebody who will complete it, finish it, keep it for what it is. You know, it's, uh, that's more important, I think, than the monetary value. Well, I will help other people finish her off and uh, um, just throw in my, my thoughts. Both Bill and Terry are hoping the ship will be purchased by someone who wants to make it a public attraction for locals and tourists to enjoy. I, I love it. I think it's an amazing accomplishment. It's a, it's a lot of fun, uh, you know, and it's the right application, whether it be, you know, bathtub weekend or whatever. Uh, as a tourist attraction, I think it would be a great thing for the city of Nanaimo to purchase, you know, uh, or like I said, a maritime society or somebody who wants to do something. It just could be so much fun, you know, join in the uh, things going on in Nanaimo Harbor and put some imitation cannons on it and chase after the cruise ships. If his heart had its way, the ship would stay in his backyard, but his head knows it's time she set sail. Sorry to see her go, but through my life, it's been about the doing, not about what I've done. The ship is for sale through Barnacle Bill's Marine Consignment on Nickel Street in downtown Nanaimo. Eric Thompson, A News.